It's a bed. Pet beds were on sale, and I had a coupon, so Guts got a new bed. It's very plush. He likes it a lot. That's a weird-looking dog, but he's still a cute dog. You know, it's nice you bought a bed for your croissant. The vampire's got it right. Life is about being bisexual and a little bit pathetic and going through different levels of depressive episodes. Except that guy right there. That guy got it all wrong. Do you ever look at your character designs closer and their actions and realize you've accidentally doomed them from the start? That somehow their own fate had wormed its way into what they do and look like long before it even happens to them? Yep. Today I learned paper airplanes were not created to mimic real airplanes. They predate them. Thought this meant they were predators to them. A massive cloud of paper airplanes descending upon a 747. And when they disperse, all that's left is a massive airliner skeleton picked perfectly clean of all flesh. The closest scene you can get to this is the one from Spirited Away. You know the one. You've heard of Eldritch Blast. Now get ready for Eldritch Blast. Does the same thing as Eldritch Blast. But the target must also roll a constitution save after, or they're cursed to only speak in uwu, no matter who they are. And if they already speak in uwu, because I knew that question was coming, they are forced out of it. Beware. Python is the JavaScript of programming languages. What? 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 Eventually, you realize you don't want to die. You just don't want to live the life you're living, and slowly you try to create a life you want to live. You just got to start there. No one needs to add, sounds fake, but okay. No, well not, may, impossible, etc. to this post. And I'd rather you not. One day you think, I want to die. And then you think very quietly, actually, actually, I, I think I want a coffee, a nap, a sandwich, a book. And I want to die turns day by day into, I want to go home. I want to walk in the woods. I want to see my friend. I want to sit in the sun. I want a cleaner kitchen. I want a better job. I want to live somewhere else. I want to live. And I'm going to say this right now. As you get older, it gets easier to get to that mindset. Trust me. Warning, remote areas ahead. For the next thousand miles, it's just you and whatever human-lizard hybrids the genetic labs discarded here. Is that a promise? Road trip, who's coming? When you zone out so hard that you go. Cross-eyed. Sims 4 becoming transpositive has led to some of the funniest UI elements I've ever seen. Can this sim produce milk? That's, that's very personal, Sims 4. Stop. My friend just gave me a presentation on why I should invest in the sword-making business. He made some excellent points. Jeff! Everyone more pretentious than me is an insufferable poser, and everyone less pretentious than me is a clueless philistine. What if someone is somehow exactly as pretentious as you? Romantic and sexual partner. Writing prompts. Turns out there is a special place in hell. But it's not for the worst. It's for good souls so utterly convinced they're hellbound so they can repent and accept they are indeed good people. That is called purgatory. You know what? I'm just going to copy-paste the entire text of Dante's Purgatorio and hope Tumblr doesn't crash. Please don't. Fucking superb, you funky little death omen. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a harbinger, and it's time to stalk. PM, why does Sana look like a Pixar mom? Not mean, silly question, and I love her design. All right, I'm going to take this opportunity to stop this meme dead in its tracks, even though I know you meant this as a little gag. And for that, too much, Dan, I'm sorry. But! There are probably only three characters in Pixar out of the 20-ish moms that even fit the Pixar mom joke. Helen Parr, Laurel Lightfoot, and maybe Andy's mom, probably not really. The rest are either pretty tame proportions, monsters, a toy, a car, or an animal. The girl that most likely people think about is the girl from the Brain and Heart animated short Inner Workings. And that was Disney Animation Studios themselves, not Pixar. For the love of God and legs, y'all need a better joke. Oh, to answer your question, my son is shaped like that. Mermaid, and it's cool. All right, all right. There's a house in my attic, part two. This is how Skyrim dungeons are designed. Our house, in the middle of your house, our house. Behold, Conga boy. Mm, I think you mean about to the slop. And now a quick lesson on how spelling can completely change the meaning of a sentence. OMG, that was a fun morning. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. My brain is running on a monkey with symbols and a bit of anxiety and Red Bull. 
What about you? Hey, just go up to someone you know and say out of nowhere, just so you know, I'm not gaslighting you. Alternatively, go up to a person that's having a good time and whisper the words, hashtag unreality. Me, when I remember something I said ages ago that was wrong or my values no longer are aligned with. <laughs> I love how 80s cartoon villains can't actually curse, so they say things like nincompoops and fools. Just imagine like a six foot tall man in the wildest outfit you've ever seen running at you with a laser rifle or something and yelling fool at you at the top of his lungs. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we forgot to teach your boyfriend media literacy, and he completely misunderstood all the themes and narratives. Yeah, the underlying message, too. Hmm. He got tricked into believing in universe propaganda and is writing a long post about it now. Sorry. Hey, Frank, I'm having some difficulty identifying this animal. What is it? A gay guy. Not to alarm anyone, but there is a fictional man loose in my brain. Keep an eye out. I wish all users I don't recognize anymore because they changed their usernames and icons, but I keep following them while mildly confused. A very pleasant evening. You know who you are, which is great because I don't. Back when I used to walk around my college in corduroy blazer and slacks, I didn't call it dark academia. I called it Professor Drag, and the purpose was to smoothly walk into parts of campus I wasn't supposed to access. <laughs> the world is beautiful. We have transgender people and images, and we have sandwiches. I added the Maridan picture because Maridan loves trans people and images. Maridan also loves sandwiches. It's like you didn't even play the game. Tsk, tsk. You know when something goes wrong or something just breaks and you go get someone to hopefully fix it, but as soon as you show it, it just gets magically fixed? Is this a curse or a blessing? You know, Magical Girl shows really did snap when they assigned personality traits based off the members' colors. Pink, commander and the leader, probably really nice and sweet. Blue, probably very close to pink, is either 100% IQ smarty pants, but shy, or very tough and cool. Yellow and orange, very happy and positive. Can vary from being newbie of the group to be older and mature, probably known as the beautiful one. Purple, mysterious, usually starts off as a rival or joins the group later, but is definitely known to the members as another magical girl. Probably has a softer side they don't show. And don't forget green, more mature and very reliable. And then there's red. Mad. Teletubbies. Okay, but this implies the existence of a lost pink Teletubby, a fallen leader too painful to talk about anymore. Tubby Custard. The amount of women who make their self-inserts fook Vulpus in Culta is astonishing, not just because he's a slaver, but because you meet him in game like this. He looks like a shoe leather, Gajinka. Yeah, he looks like he sells races of door to door. <laughs> My favorite genre of Pokemon plush. Taking powerful and intimidating legendary Pokemon and turning them into little guys. Trademark. Just saw an adult man growl at a QR code on the wall. Yeah, was, sorry, that, 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 that was me. Writing prompt. Due to a paperwork filing error, you, a terrifying demonic creature, are now trapped in a contract with a small little girl. She is constantly summoning you to play tag, check for monsters in the closet, or look at her drawings. It's truly torture. I'm pretty sure that's an anime somewhere. To the people who sleep with their light on, one question. How do you sleep when letting them know where you are? Being ADHD is like being a cryptid, and when you trust someone enough, you're like, I will now show you my true form. Bucky Cho, do you have anything to say on Trans Visibility Day? Hold up, comically small microphone. Rise up. Attack. Destroy. Lay waste to the land also. Thanks, Bucky. Writing prompt. Death offers a game for your life. And you decide on D&D. &D. I assumed you've never played, I asked. The cloaked figure across from me shook their heads slowly. Great, I said. I'll be the DM. I'll walk you through everything. First, character creation. Six hours later, Death sat leaned over the table with a Mountain Dew in one hand and a D20 in the other. Their hood was thrown back to reveal a bleached, grinning skull. We were in the company of four infernals from the depths of the abyss. I don't remember which of us invited each of them. Turned out we had a, quite a few friends in common. They rolled a one. Ooh, tough luck, I said with a smile. 
Five newts at Fumble's AU, where Foxy sounds like Mr. Krabs and refers to Freddy exclusively as Mr. Fazbear. I mean, how is that not canon already? I'm sorry, all I could think of is the meme with Mr. Krabs going, Mr. Squidward, I should kick your f- There are two types of OCD people. The ones who keep their volume at an even number, and the ones who keep it at a multiple of five. Despite decades of bloodshed, the two factions are locked and in eternal stalemates. This war truly has no end in sight. And time to cause chaos in the comments. Multiples of five are the correct answer. All right, have fun! When you're angry at the characters, the story is well written. When you're angry at the writers, it is not. The presumption here is that the audience can tell the difference. Presuming they're not children, the audience can usually tell. Example, when a character does something you don't like, but it feels like something the character would do, you get mad at the character. When a character does something you don't like, and the history of that character makes it unbelievable that the character would do that thing, you get mad at the writers. I am looking at you, Game of Thrones. What did you do to Daenerys? Ever have that insatiable urge to bite something that you usually shouldn't? A leather chair? Your phone? A seat in a car? A book? Something with just the right amount of squishiness to it that you can sink your teeth into it without breaking it? Or is that just me? Clowns with dementia, call that, uh, call that, uh, call that. <sighs> what, what, what was I talking about? Aw, that's not funny. Are you guys okay? Sometimes I get the vibe that you're at your wit's end. Fairy Cosmos, you have no idea! I predict that it's going to take approximately two hours after Tears of the Kingdom's launch for Nintendo to regret the amount of power they gave us. Yep, gonna make an extremely long spear, probably 24 long spear, and call it my personal space stick. I've never seen snow. Someone please describe it to me. It smells like water. It's like I'm there. The fact that the unpublished book series that only exists in my head doesn't have a fandom yet may be one of the greatest crimes in literary history. I know, right? We tricked our hands into hatching out the rarest baby peacocks. Wow, epic chicken prank. Wow, now they got the chickens doing YouTuber face. <laughs> oh my god! Hmm, someone I care about told me that I'm a mediocre artist and I should spend my time on things that actually make money. This will take me several business days to recover from. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you, my test subjects are treated with the highest respect. Does being given the highest quality juice rewards sound like a human rights violation to you? So what if I keep them in cages? They love the cages! Why does this sound like the doctor from TF2? That's how I lost my medical license. <laughs> Secret hug techniques to be used only in dire emergencies. The Heimlich? Crazy how many people want characters in fiction to speak and act like they've had 20 hours of intensive therapy. Could not be me. I want these bitches fucked up insane! Just so you know, bimbo and himbo aren't gender locked. Female himbos and male bimbos. And I can drown some female himbos. We need another one of those words like exactly and literally. Who's gonna get on that? <clears throat> you rang. Twitter's like, do not interact with me unless you are a perfect clone of me. And Tumblr's like, hi, you share exactly one interest with me. Would you like to subliminally influence each other's thought patterns through funny text posts until we develop a hive mind? Yeah? Cool. Zeus sent you a message. Odin sent you a new message. What is this, a crossover episode? My advice to you, run. Hey, face out of Tumblr, I got a question. What happens if you just straight up refuse to give a fae your name? Do they like give it up or do they do everything in their power to trick you into giving them your name? I'll tell you. Gotta have your name first though. No. Nah. Listen, pal. The subtitles stay on. If you ever see me posting something cringe or embarrassing, I didn't say that. That was my evil twin, my doppelganger. Yeah, it's me, by the way. Uh, hello? Cringe is okay. In moderation, my friend. Oh god, this is gonna confuse people who are just listening and not looking at the video. Critics be like, watches a cartoon movie about a video game character everyone thinks is good. This is the worst movie I have ever seen. Critics also like, watches something that lots of people hate because of the amount of jokes about something that shouldn't be joked about. This one is true art. Best movie ever. And this is why, as human beings with normal emotions and experiences, should criticize the critics.
Thanks, John Manda. Doctor, $140,000 a year. Furry artist on Patreon, $160,000 a year. I think you're lowballing the furry art amount, to be honest. I'm sorry for the inaccuracies, Dr. Yiff. No matter how much I respond to this, I don't look good. Well played. I walked right into that. Well, furry artists are typically more competent and courteous than your average doctor. So I can see that. Did you just legitimately tell me that a person who draws wolf ass is more competent than a dude who spent eight years in a university to give you your lung transplant? Did you? My grand grand used to say only trust people who went through the ringer and stayed nice people. Now that I'm older, I think I get what she means. Yeah. Setting a trap for the haiku bot. We ain't good tonight. Yeehaw. Setting a trap for haiku bot. We are eating. Good tonight. Yeehaw. I look for accidental haiku posts. Sometimes I mess up. Oh yeah, there. Go sick em, boys. We got that damn haiku bot. We'll roast him good. Nobody was scared when the clown invasion started at the beach. I mean, it's just one boat, they said. How bad can it be? Oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. How would you go about killing a false god? Get a real god and make them fight to the death. Does the average man get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is does? The San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935. Sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. What is does? I don't think any of you understand how important I am to the plot. You can kill me off, but everyone will stop watching. All right, Comets. Name the character. Diversity win! The evil, deranged, mad scientist doing sick, fucked up experiments on you is gay and trans! Hooray! Cool. Poor girl broke her favorite sitting basket. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Her beats are sticking out. Look at her! Call out post. Oh, is anyone there? Been stuck in Tumblr for 10 years, help. My favorite emotion is when someone does something kind of foolish and all you can say is, I love you, in response. Top tier emotion. I don't have a single evil bone in my body, but I do have 206 very scared bones. I think furniture legs should be carved into little animal feet again. I think that would solve a lot of problems. Andy, put up your favorite furniture animal foot. That's a good one. Floating face down in a cranberry bog, divested of ego, gleaning the wisdom of berries, the secret of small fruits. Everyone is pointing out that spiders, as if the wisdom of cranberry spiders is less potent, as if I don't welcome their spiritual input. Yeah, I'm doing by the narrative, but I have a little time to be absolutely gay. Putting my inevitable death on pause to be a homosexual for a second. You know, there are things in my tags you guys should be saving for a priest or a therapist. Not me with a folder full of 480 pictures of Lego Riddler. And they're never the things I expect. Sometimes you just gotta have a blurbo. Bitches be like, I'm so tired and sleepy. And then stay up doing hyperfixation shush for the next five hours. It's me. I'm bitches. The only way to win Tumblr is to ascend reality and post you tumbling back down. This is the only way. <gasps> oh my god, that's why it's called that. Thank you, uh, massive <laughs> milk bags. A computer mouse is the computer's hand, and you are holding hands when you scroll the internet. <gasps> oh my. Do you all think siblings in medieval times would look at the little beasts in illuminated manuscripts and point at each other like, Ha! Tis thou! I wish. I think someone deserves to be called pretty by someone who means it, and this should happen often. Yes. Cis people think trans people have this dead name and chosen name. But honestly, we have name, other name, dead name, business name, old nickname only some people have rights to use, online name, and an extra special secret name you don't get to know. Unless, oh, winky face. And there's another one. Love the word be things like, <laughs> yeah, me sure is thinksin'. Me thinks, therefore, me am. The special relationship between a person and their saddest, wettest OC. He's just a little scrunkles. I find your lack of whimsy disturbing. Don't like it.
I hope Barbie is so good, it makes every executive that's turned everything bright and fun made for young girls into edgy, boring teen dramas for the last 10 years spontaneously combust into flames. And based on the trailers, we're off to a good start. Can I ask you something? My immediate reply says, go for it. But my mind has already gone through the seven stages of grief. Do you think kids during the Industrial Revolution had that same weird millennial Gen Z experience of having technology change so much while they're growing up? A middle-aged man in the 1890s condescendingly explaining what a candle is, and the 13-year-old's like, Okay, governor. You learned the word miscellaneous from The Sims and don't even lie. No! I learned it from Oregon Trail. Uh, no, I learned how to spell it from the same place I learned how to spell learned English class. Well, good for you. What's your process for creating characters? Imagine a weirdo. Give him one or more of my character flaws and then figure out how to hurt them. I'm sorry. Frat boy vampire draining someone walls bros chant. Jack, Jack, Jack. Mutuals. This could be us. Open up a boy with the cold. <laughs>